In order to resolve certain data or out of balance issues in Sage 50 US edition, you may be required to run the Chart of Accounts journal synchronization test. The steps for this test can vary if you have a legacy version of Sage 50, but for versions 2018.1 and later, the test can be run as follows. First, have all other users exit the company. Running this test is a single user task. Once all other users have logged out, you will need to change your accounting period in the company to period one. To do this, go to the tasks menu and select system, then change accounting period. Select period one from the top of the list of open accounting periods, then click OK. You may receive a series of messages asking if you want to print invoices, checks, reports, or run an internal accounting review before changing periods. Select no for each question and the period change will complete. Once the period has been changed, go to the help menu and select support utilities, then integrity check. The integrity checker window will appear along with a warning message recommending you back up your data before proceeding. It is vital that you create a backup before proceeding because if the test fails at any step beyond this point, it can result in loss of data if you do not have a backup. To back up your data, click the backup button. You will receive a prompt asking you to choose where on your computer the backup will be saved and what name it will be saved under. We recommend backing up to your local hard drive rather than to a network or removable drive for best results. And you should choose a name for the backup that you can remember and easily identify in case you need to restore this backup later. When you have chosen the location and name of the backup, click Save. A message box will appear informing you of how much space the backup will require. If you do not have enough space on the drive where you're saving the backup, the backup will fail and you will need to try backing up again after selecting a new location or freeing up disk space. However, if you do have enough space, click OK and the backup will complete automatically. Depending on the quantity of data, the backup process may take a while to complete. Be patient and do not interrupt the process as interrupting the backup might damage your data. Once the backup is complete, the main data integrity check slash repair window will appear. Check the reindex files box and then from the reindex files list, select chart, then click OK. The test will proceed. You may receive one or more messages during this time stating that a synchronization error was corrected. Click OK on any such messages and the test should continue until complete. Once this part of the test is done, you will complete a similar process for re-indexing the journal header and journal rows files. This should all be done separately to avoid damaging your data. To re-index each type of file, go to the help menu, select support utilities, and then integrity check. This will return you to the warning message about creating a backup. However, creating a backup between different parts of the test should not be necessary. Instead, select continue and you will be returned to the data integrity check slash repair window. Once that window appears, check the reindex files box. Then from the reindex files list, select JRNL header, then press OK. After that part of the test completes, return to the data integrity check slash repair window. Check reindex files, and this time select JRNL rows, then click OK. This completes the reindex files portion of the test. Next, return to the data integrity check slash repair window as before, but this time go down to the data synchronization test section and check the chart of accounts slash journal box, then click OK. At this point, you will have re-indexed your chart, journal header, and journal rows files and run a data synchronization test on them. In many cases, this may be enough to resolve the original issue you were experiencing. 
We recommend testing at this point by either checking for the original error you were receiving or checking to see if your accounts are now in balance. To check that your accounts are in balance, go to the Reports and Forms menu. Select Financial Statements, then select Standard Balance Sheet. Verify that the total liabilities and capital equals the total assets. You should also go to the Reports and Forms General Ledger and open the General Ledger Trial Balance to verify that the total debits matches the total credits on this report. If both these reports are in balance and your original issue is resolved, then you may stop the test here, change your period back to what it was originally, and proceed with your work. Otherwise, you will need to proceed to the next section of this test. To continue the test, if necessary, go to the Help menu, select Support Utilities, then Integrity Check. Once again, select Continue, and you will be returned to the Data Integrity Check slash Repair window. Select the Journal Balances box, which is located beneath the Reindex Files box. Click OK. When this process is done, return to the Data Integrity Check slash Repair window and check the GL Balances box. Click OK. This last part of the test will attempt to forcibly put the system back in balance by moving the out-of-balance amount into the equity retained earnings account. If you later find that the balance does not belong in that account and you find the account that it should go to, you may use a general journal entry to move the balance to the correct account. When this last part of the test has completed, change your accounting period back to what it was before. To do this, go to the Tasks menu, select System, then Change Accounting Period, and select whichever period should currently be open in Sage 50 from the list, then click OK. If you receive messages prompting you to print checks, invoices, reports, or run an internal accounting review, select No, and the change of accounting periods will complete. Verify that the issue has now been resolved by checking for the original error or else by checking to make sure your balance sheet and general ledger are now in balance. If they are, proceed with your work. Otherwise, you may need to reach out to Sage directly for further troubleshooting. Thank you for watching this Sage demonstration.